Trigger warning, this video contains strong opinions and talks on abuse topics such as sexual violence and others. I advise you to turn away if you might be easily offended or have PTSD. Hey, welcome back and in today's video. What, what's that? I'm wearing, my hair matches my shirt. Shh, we've got no time for that today. The Yandere Dev is at it again. So, uh, King Squippy says, Hey dude, I just saw your video and I thought you'd like to know. Yandere Dev said he wants to get rid of consent law and instead have a sex license. You can read about it here. And read about it. We shall. But, but first, a sex license to get rid of the consent law. Rather than go into detail on why that sounds just absolutely weird knowing all that we do know about the Andre Dev already, I'm just gonna let you speculate in the comment box below. So here's this thing we're gonna go into reading right now. Um, it's not new, but it's still evidence as to uh, just creepy stuff. Um, I'm gonna read it. Here we go. Clearing up misunderstandings part four. <laughs> Why do you have to clear your clear up misunderstandings in parts and sections? I, I can see why because the Yandere Devs does so much It's been a long time about eight months since I had to address wild and false accusations level it, It's it's been a while like he has so many accusations thrown at him. He he it's it he has to say this on January 2nd, an individual contacted me to share her criticism of Yandere Simulator. She seemed to believe that Yandere Simulator contains de depictions of underage characters in sexual situations. There are no sexual situations in Yandere Simulator. There are characters who make vague statements which imply they are sexually active outside of school. Now right then and there, that that is sexual situations if you're vaguely implying that you there you have sex outside of school then that is a sexual situation in a video game just gonna go ahead and throw that out there mr alex dev yandere guy this individual who i will refer to as in expressed her belief that twitch chose to ban broadcasts of yandere simulator because it contains sexualized underage characters i didn't even know that yandere simulator was banned from twitch and i bet you didn't either but now we do know if you've been keeping up with Yandere Simulator, you should be aware that I've been searching for a firm, solid, concrete reason why Twitch chose to ban Yandere Simulator from its SERP. It could be because your characters are referring to having sex outside of school. That um, Banning the game because of underage characters in sexual situations would be absurd for two reasons. First of all, there are no sexual situations visible anywhere in the game. You just said that there was. Second of all, age of consent is different everywhere in the world. In some countries, it's as high as 20. In other countries, it's as low as 9. Okay, well, this is just irrelevant. Number one, why would you want to justify that? Number two, you are in America. We uh, are a little bit updated more than those third world countries. Um, we're on top of it. We're ahead of the game. Um, so, yeah, we, 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 we fixed some things others have not I believe it would be ridiculous to ban Yandere Simulator because of arbitrary number that changes depending on what country you're in pointed this out and in responded by accusing me of being a pedophile well I wonder why dude this is where I should have rolled my eyes and proceed to ignore all future communications from this obnoxious individual instead I made the mistake of responding to them I wonder how this is gonna go I attempted to explain that it's pointless to assign an age to a fictional character because fictional characters can be clones, vampires, robots, or any type of character whose age doesn't reflect their physical appearance. I pointed out that when it comes to fictional characters, ages are completely arbitrary. In interpreted this as evidence that I'm a pedophile. Actually, throughout the entire conversation, she interpreted literally every statement I made as evidence that I am a pedophile. I could say the sky is blue and she would hear the words, I rape children. Now, I do want to point this out. You uh, did, and I'd said it in the video above here, you did say, and you have done, uh, fan fictions with rape in your characters. 
this person probably knows that and is aware of your uh, very dirty past and is just assuming that this is what you're doing. I mean, you can, how far can you throw the rock? You know what I'm saying? At this point in time, I asked her why she demonized pedophiles. Oh my God. Uh, a person does not choose their sexual orientation. Sexual preference is not a choice. No person chooses to become a pedophile. It's involuntary. Pedophilia is a defect, an illness, a disorder. A pedophile is something that has something broken inside them. And as of now, there is no cure. A pedophile lives with a curse. I look upon pedophiles with a deep degree of pity, but not hate. I cannot bring myself to hate someone who didn't consciously, deliberately choose to be that way they are. He's thinking it's a psychiatric illness, which he's partly true, but it's not a illness as in cough, cough, sick. It's an illness as in you are f***ed in the head, and this is ridiculous. In case you don't think so, let's actually read the definition of a pedophile. Pedophilia is a, is a psychiatric disorder in which an adult or older adolescent experiences a primary exclusive sexual attraction to pubescent children a popular usage for the word pedophilia is often applied to any sexual interest in children or the act of ch child sexual abuse which is freaking illegal you're sounding like one of those people that are trying to make pedophilia like this thing where it's a sexual orientation it's okay to be a pedophile newsflash it's not it's never going to be stop he says, now child molesters, child rapists, and those are a completely different story. Are they? Really? Are child rapists not pedophiles? It's unforgivable deliberately violate another human being, especially someone who is too young to defend himself, even comprehend what you're doing to them. I've said it before, I'll say it again. If a child molester or a child rapist is giving the death penalty, I would gladly serve as the executioner, but you don't understand because that's exactly what a pedophile is. I asked Ian to explain the difference between someone who is 18 years old and someone who is one day younger. There is no significant difference between the two people. On the 18th birthday, you do not open a box that contains maturity, wisdom, and responsibility. A person who is 17 years, 364 days years old is practically the same person as the 18 year old. Unfortunately, Anne did not comprehend this nuance of my statement. She insisted that all sexual contact between minors and adults is inherently abusive. Yes, that's absolutely correct. All, co all sexual contact between adults and minors is a no-no. She demanded that I tell her what I think the age of consent should be. This should have been my cue that N completely lacked even the slightest degree of reading comprehension skill. He sounds like one of those politically correct people, uh, but it's not all about political correctness. Because I had just explained that someone who passes the age of consent is not magically ready for sex just because they have had a certain number of birthdays. I pointed out that there are many people under the age of 18 who have had sexual experiences without being traumatized. I pointed out that some people aren't ready for sex even after the age of 18. Thus, one age of consent will not work for all humans. I attempted to propose the idea of finding another way to determine whether or not someone is ready for sex, such as passing a test that grants a sex license. That's ridiculous. I can't read further on this, but I will link it in the description below. What he's saying is that there should be a license to have sex like a license to drive you know at first glance this does seem like something that might work but what if a nine-year-old goes to take this test after they do some study and some very intense study and all of a sudden they have a sex license they're good to go and i'm thinking that this is probably something that us in who he's talking about it has a problem with I have a problem with that. A lot of people have a problem with that. You can't put a license on everything. That's not how things work. The intelligence of a human being can be great at a young age, but the sexual uh, escapades, uh, that's a different story. But. I'm interested in what you guys think about this. This is bizarre. This guy is just out the window. I don't think I've heard things 
as weird and craziest things as this guy. I can't believe this guy has millions of subscribers on YouTube as a following and believes absurd things like this. And obviously he's a very, one of those very politically correct guys looking at the, the basically a grammar Nazi uh, looking at every error that anybody could make to prove them wrong. But I'm going to leave it there. And there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I want to know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and your interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes. And as always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. I mean, you know, if if you went wanted to get do a sex license, then you'd have to do the driver's license the same way. So then the people would have to, like, get your driver's license at the age of nine. You could just study for it, and you know, that'd be pretty cool. I would have drove my car at the age of nine. I could have did that. I don't think I was tall enough, though. There's a lot of weird things in the world. But I know that you're ripping. If you're not ripping, you're Greg. And how do you become a member of the Rep Squad? All you gotta do is subscribe with notifications turned on. Be in the comment section to every single video, because I'm gonna be there. Greg the Cat's gonna be there, and the rest of the Rep Squad community is going to be there. And I expect to see you there, too, because this channel loves you. Just don't be weird.